Welcome to TV Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. Michael Caine is gruffly heartbreaking in this veteran adventure. Hoping your local musical troupe will take a shot at Hamilton? Don't hold your breath. The latest scores from Strictly Come Dancing. One-way virtual job interviews are becoming more common. Here's how to nail them. How the news has changed over seven decades. Michael Caine is gruffly heartbreaking in this veteran adventure. The Guardian. The article discusses the film The Great Escaper which is based on the real-life story of Navy veteran Bernard Jordan. The film follows Jordan as he decides to make the trip to attend the 70th anniversary of the D-Day landings, despite missing the boat to apply for the event. The film is unexpectedly melancholic, with a focus on Jordan's survivors' guilt and the psychological wounds sustained in battle. The director, Oliver Parker, takes a no-frills approach to the film, but there is a real emotional heft to the storytelling. Michael Caine, who plays Jordan, delivers a gruffly heartbreaking performance and is praised for his acting at 90 years old. Overall, the film is described as a gently comedic big-screen treatment with a chipper flat-capped caper to the continent. Hoping your local musical troupe will take a shot at Hamilton? Don't hold your breath. ABC. Securing the rights to perform a commercial musical can be a complicated and expensive process. The rights holder may request a percentage of ticket sales and the rights may also be put on hold if there is an upcoming professional touring production. To combat these challenges, some schools and community groups have started creating their own original musicals. This allows for more flexibility and lower costs, and also gives students the opportunity to perform something unique that no one else is doing. The latest scores from Strictly Come Dancing, The Independent. The 21st series of the BBC Strictly Come Dancing is well underway, with the latest episode being Movie Week. TV presenter Angela Scanlon and comedian Eddie Cuddy were among the standout performers, while former tennis champion Annabelle Croft and TV presenter Angela Rapon also received praise. Rapon performed a quick step to Do Re Mi from The Sound of Music, although partner Kai Widrington's knee socks distracted Judge Anton Dubik. The rankings and points totals for all the contestants after three weeks are also provided. One-way virtual job interviews are becoming more common. Here's how to nail them. ABC. One-way virtual job interviews, also known as candidate screening platforms, are becoming more popular as a way for employers to efficiently screen candidates. This type of interview allows candidates to record their responses to questions within a set time limit. Experts recommend that candidates practice before the interview and research the company they are interviewing for. They also suggest dressing appropriately and checking internet connection before starting the interview. While these virtual interviews can be useful for showcasing communication skills, they are not meant to replace face-to-face -face interviews. How the news has changed over seven decades. The Sydney Morning Herald. Australian newspaper The Sun Herald is celebrating its 70th anniversary. The publication, which merged The Sun and The Sunday Herald, has covered major news events over the past seven decades, including political elections, sporting achievements, royal visits, world events, social affairs, natural disasters, and local news stories. The Sun-Herald has reported on federal and state elections in Australia, documenting the outcomes and political shifts throughout the years. It has also covered major moments in Australian sport, including Olympic victories, record-breaking performances, and significant rugby league matches. The newspaper has provided extensive coverage of the British royal family, from Queen Elizabeth II's first visit to Australia in 1954 to the recent death of the Queen and the coronation of King Charles III. The Sun-Herald has reported on world events such as the assassination of U.S. President John F. Kennedy, the moon landing, the death of Winston Churchill, and the Falklands War. It has also covered social issues, including the heroin crisis, the women's movement, and the Chamberlain case. The newspaper has documented natural disasters and national news events, such as floods, fires, earthquakes, and crimes. Throughout its history, the Sun-Herald has aimed to record the moments that matter in Sydney and the state of New South Wales. Bedbug-ridden Paris is being sabotaged by its eco-crazy mayor. Telegraph. The author criticizes the mayor of Paris, and Hidalgo, for prioritizing her climate agenda over the well-being and livability of the city. The author argues that Hidalgo has focused on issues like sustainability and inclusiveness while neglecting basic concerns such as cleanliness, law and order, and public transport. The author also highlights the recent bed bug epidemic in Paris as evidence of Hidalgo's failures. The author concludes that Hidalgo's zealotry for her climate agenda is turning the city of lights into a city of darkness. I used to dream about owning a house with a pool. Now I dream about swimming in yours. The Sydney Morning Herald. The author laments the fact that many Australians can no longer afford to own a pool due to rising housing costs and increasing debt. 
They propose a solution, that those who do own pools should be forced to share them with others. They suggest the creation of an app that allows people to book strangers' pools for a fee, with the funds going towards pool upkeep and costs for owners. The author believes that this would help to bring communities together and alleviate some of the financial burdens of pool ownership. Award-winning English filmmaker dies at 77. The Guardian. Terence Davies, the acclaimed British filmmaker, has died at the age of 77. Davies, known for his semi-autobiographical film Distant Voices, Still Lives, was working on a new project when he fell ill. He was praised for his sensitive approach to real-life drama and his ability to capture small changes in emotion. Davies was also known for his films The House of Mirth, Of Time and the City, and A Quiet Passion. In an interview two weeks ago, he spoke about his directing technique, saying actors should feel rather than act on screen. Strictly Come Dancing 2023, Movie Week 3, Live, Nigel Harmon Dances a Batman Jive. Telegraph. The article discusses Strictly Come Dancing's Movie Week, which is the first of the season's regular theme weeks. The celebrities will be performing dances inspired by movies, and the wardrobe department is expected to pull out all the stops with their costumes. Angela Rapon is doing a Sound of Music quick step, Nigel Harmon is answering the bat signal, Krishnan Gurumurthy is emceeing the cabaret, and Eddie Cuddy is doing a couple's choice number to Men in Black. The article asks readers if they are fans of the theme weeks and encourages them to share their thoughts in the comments. Film director Terence Davies dies aged 77. BBC. British screenwriter and director Terence Davies has died at the age of 77. Known for films such as Distant Voices, Still Lives, Davies established himself with a trilogy of films in the late 1970s and early 1980s. His work often had an autobiographical element, and he won the Cannes International Critics Prize for Distant Voices, Still Lives. His most recent work was the Netflix drama Benediction. Davies died peacefully at home after a short illness. That's all for today's news, folks. We had everything from heart-wrenching films to virtual job interviews, and even some bedbugs in Paris. But let's start with the film The Great Escaper, where Michael Caine delivers a gruffly heartbreaking performance at the age of 90. It's a must-watch if you're in the mood for a chipper flat-capped caper with a touch of melancholy. Moving on to the world of musicals, if you're hoping your local troupe will perform Hamilton, don't hold your breath. Securing the rights to commercial musicals can be complicated and expensive. That's why some schools and community groups are creating their own original musicals. It's a win-win situation, more flexibility, lower costs, and the chance to showcase something unique. Now, let's dance our way over to Strictly Come Dancing, where Movie Week is in full swing. Angela Rapon stole the show with her quick step to Do Re Mi from The Sound of Music. Although, it seems partner Kai Widrington's knee socks caused quite the distraction. And let's not forget Nigel Harmon answering the bat signal with a jive. Who knew Batman had such moves? Speaking of interviews, virtual job interviews are becoming more common. But fear not. We've got some tips to help you nail them. Practice beforehand, research the company, dress appropriately, and check your internet connection. Just remember, these interviews are great for showcasing your communication skills, but they can't replace face-to-face -face interviews. Shifting gears, we celebrate the Sun Herald's 70th anniversary. This Australian newspaper has covered it all, elections, sports, royal visits, world events, social issues, natural disasters, and local news stories. From Queen Elizabeth II's first visit to Australia to the recent coronation of King Charles III, the Sun Herald has been there to document the moments that matter. Now, let's take a dip in the pool. Or rather, dream about it. Rising housing costs and increasing debt have made pool ownership a luxury for many Australians. But fear not, the solution proposed by the Sydney Morning Herald is to share the pools of those who do own them. An app that allows people to book strangers' pools for a fee could bring communities together and alleviate some of the financial burdens. Sadly, we say goodbye to the award-winning English filmmaker Terence Davies, who passed away at the age of 77. Known for his sensitive approach to real-life drama, Davies left a lasting impact on the film industry. His films captured small changes in emotion, and he believed in letting actors feel rather than act on screen. And finally, we come back to Strictly Come Dancing, where Movie Week is in full swing. Share your thoughts on the theme weeks in the comments section and let's keep the discussion going. That's all for today's news from the Six Degrees World. Remember, stay curious, stay informed, and keep those questions coming. What are your thoughts on today's news? Let's hear it. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, 
think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief by email.